And hi folks, Frank Dalton here with NTX PC Repair. Have you ever started disassembling a laptop and you found a screw with the head stripped and you can't get it out? Well, I have. You know, the head of these screws are rather soft. And using the incorrect Phillips head type can easily twist this head. So, what are our options? Well, we can always reach into our toolbox and grab our drill bits, right? Okay, well, all we need to do is select a bit and just drill the head of that sucker off. That works, right? Now that'll get you into that laptop. Well, there's a basic problem with this approach. If we pop that head off, the shaft of that screw is still in the mounting hole. And you can't get it out and you can't reuse that mounting hole. Right? Well, that's just a half-assed job. Well, I have a solution and I want to share it with everybody. And that solution starts with left twist drill bits. This is my set right here, and I've been using it for some time now. Left twist. Let's take a look at one of them. Look closely. Look at the shaft. It's twisted to the left. And that's the direction of travel that we need to influence that screw with. Twisting to the left. Now, I always keep around the good old right twist. Heck. I'd hate to give a drill bit to somebody and have them try to drill a hole into something. That guy'd be there all day. Now all we need to do is select a drill bit. Its diameter is a little smaller than the screw head itself. Okay? Mount that in that drill motor chuck using downward pressure and cycling that power switch on and off rapidly. The head of this drill bit is going to bite into the head of that screw and twist it to the left. Now you need a drill motor that has a reverse on it or it won't work. Alright? Now if that screw doesn't come all the way out, at least it's going to be loose enough so you can finesse the top of that screw head to back it completely out. Now I have a laptop that I really need to recycle and there's two screws in the drive bay that were a little corroded and I'd stripped the head. And I'm gonna demonstrate how easily it is to remove those screws. Okay, now I'm gonna bring up that laptop here in a moment and we're gonna examine those screws and use these drill bits to remove it with. So, why don't you give me a moment here. I'm gonna clean off this desktop and we're gonna bring up that laptop and we're gonna examine it together, okay? All right, give me a moment, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, folks. And here's this old laptop I'm trying to recycle, and the two screws here in the drive bay that are a little corroded, and I've twisted it, and I can't get the screws out. So, um, now, we, we have a left twist bit we've selected already and mounted in the truck of this drill motor. Now this drill motor has a reverse on it. So that is a requirement as a matter of fact. So what we're gonna do is center the tip of this bit on top of that screw. Even downward pressure and cycling that switch on and off rapidly. Now the tip is biting in the head of that screw and twisting it to the left, okay? All right, that's about enough. Now let's take a look at it. Whoops. Oh, I'm sorry, folks. I really didn't mean to move the target area, that drive bay, out of the frame of the video. But there's another screw there, and I'll really make sure that the next screw, the whole process is in the center of the frame of the camera. Well, there's that screw came right on out. Okay. 
There you go. All right, let's get after the other one. Okay, now let's, there it is. So let's move that within the frame here and I was gonna make sure it stays right where we want it. Center the tip of that drill bit on the head of that screw. Press down, power cycle that switch. There we go. Let's take a look. Now looking closely, I can see that that screw is loose. And uh, well, we really don't, really need another bit to finesse that with anyway, but what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna continue using this drill motor, all right? A few more times here. Press down, power cycle that switch on and off. Okay, all right, now let's watch closely here. Now there's a magnet on this uh, Phillips head here. Oop, there it is, came right out. There's that little sucker. Now these two screws is holding up the whole project. Now we got them out. You saw how easy that was, right? Pretty easy. Now, you need to invest in these left twists pull these out properly so you can reuse these mounting holes, right? Just make sure the drill motor has a reverse on it or it won't work, okay? That is a requirement. Left twist drill bits. There you have it. You saw how easy it was. I know you can do it. So, get you a set. Now you can Google it. You'll probably find them on Amazon. Now they are a specialty item, so you won't find a large variety of them out there. But they're there for under $20. They're a terrific investment. You can do the job right in removing these screws without damaging it. So there they are, left with drill bits. Well, I hope you took something away from this video because I really enjoyed making this for you. So get you a set. Do the job right. And this is Frank Dalton saying, good luck on that next project.